Jeremy Raposa here with the Raposa Family Homestead. Come with uh, an update on day seven here with these little guys. Um, again, everybody is great. Everybody's running around as you can see. Um, I tried to do it from a different angle this time, show you guys a different angle of the coop a little bit more. Um, or I should say brooder, sorry. Uh, but if you notice today, I got rid of the two by four. I dropped um, the lamp on here instead. So it's actually been raised um, a few inches. And so now you can see, you can get under here. Um, no, now you can see, you can get under here a little bit more. Um, it's higher, it was about right here before, which made it about 95 degrees under here. They're a week old now, we can go, uh, they can be up to 90 degrees now in here. Um, so we're kind of dropping the temperature five degrees um, each week. Um, I did have a question about that. And so the rule of thumb is they can go outside. Um, the, the question was about when can they go outside? Uh, the rule of thumb is, is when the temperature in the brooder is the same out as outside, which is not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, if you've been living in Rhode Island and feel this weather, uh, we've had a few nice days, but I don't think we're going to get up to 90 degrees anytime soon. Um, so really I need them to have all their feathers so they're able to hold all their heat in. Right now they have the down on them, um, you know, which doesn't hold a lot of heat in. It doesn't make them very warm while they're waiting for their feathers to come in. Um, as I showed you yesterday, they really only had their feathers on their wings. So mm -hmm. they got a little bit left to go here. Um, but everybody's doing well. The coops, uh, the, sorry, the brooder has been cleaned. Um, I actually put new shavings in and if you look real close when they were doing that little, uh, thing where they kick all the shavings around, they kicked it all in their water. So I have to clean out their water again because they love doing that. It's actually in their food. If you look closely, you can see it in their food because they absolutely love just kicking shavings around everywhere. And of course I had it in big piles when I put it in there just so they could have some fun uh, doing it. And I, I love watching it. I think it's hilarious that it's just an instinct, you know, it, it's, it's crazy to me that they just that instinctual as birds, you know, um, Wes, easy. Um, Wesley wanted to come down here with you and show you a bird up super close. He said, um, so that's the bird pretty close. You can see it's definitely bigger, way bigger than before when I used to help when I uh, held it the first day. Yeah. Um, and definitely heavier. I'd be willing to bet it's more than two times its weight from when we got it. Um, so think about this too. Think about where they are right now, what size they are. And in seven weeks, I'll be able to process these birds because they'll be somewhere around eight to 10 pounds. That is simply amazing. So if you think about that, I don't think they're a pound yet. So they're going to be gaining more than a pound a week average from here on out. And so I'm excited to see it. I hope you guys are excited to see it. And I'll update you again tomorrow. And hopefully everyone will be here. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them. Um, and until tomorrow, stay cool.